the most expensive show ever produced in the history of television will be the five season Amazon's Lord of the Rings. Jeff Bezos is a gangster, like Gary Vee likes to say. This guy does not mess around and he outbid Netflix for $250 million to buy the rights to produce his own Lord of the Rings TV show. They say in about two years they're gonna start filming, they're gonna have everything set up. They want Peter Jackson to be a producer. Peter Jackson is the director of the original Lord of the Rings trilogy 17 years ago and he also directed the Hobbit trilogy which was a little bit of a disappointment. I don't doubt that by season 4 of this show is a success like they're planning to becoming a Game of Thrones successor because Game of Thrones ends in 2019. I know there's going to be Game of Thrones spin-offs but Amazon wants to cash in on the fantasy. They want to cash in all the people that are invested in these fantasy stories so by the time the Lord of the Rings TV show the first season comes out a lot of you guys are going to be buying more stuff on Amazon. I remember three years ago I wasn't buying buying as much stuff on Amazon as I am buying now and it's only gonna double as the years progress so if you don't have Amazon Prime by now you're gonna have it early next decade when the Lord of the Rings TV show comes out and you'll be able to stream this service for free the amount of Lord of the Rings fans out there and now we live in the best time to be alive to be somebody that loves fantasy that loves pop culture 10 years ago people were making fun of geeks and now they are we are accepted we are accepted into the culture that's what's gonna be popular and I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan and I think this is going to be successful. Five seasons to explore more the world of the hobbits and the elves and the world of men and Sauron. We still don't know what it is. They mentioned that they want it to be a prequel to the Lord of the Rings, a prequel to Fellowship of the Ring. So this can mean anything. It could be 10,000 years before, 3,000 years before, 50 years before, like after the events of the Hobbit, but before the events of the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. I don't know. I think for this TV show to work best, they would have to focus around Sauron and the creation of the One Ring, Elrond, the battle that was described in the beginning of the Fellowship of the Ring, where Sauron creates the rings and he starts bringing darkness into Middle Earth. That would be really interesting because it's something you're familiar with, like, oh, I remember Elrond, oh, I remember Sauron. You get to see how Sauron got his powers, you get to see Elrond run his kingdom when the elves were at full strength. You get to see the eighth Gondor and Rohan, but at the Elden days, like maybe when they're barely constructing the White City or Osgiliath when it was at full strength. Going too far back takes away the purpose. I mean, you will be introducing new elements and new characters, but you kind of also want it to be similar to the trilogy. I think going back 3,000 years ago during the Battle of the One Ring, that could be by season five. The first three, four seasons, you're developing the characters, maybe other smaller battles or battles between men or elves and dwarves and then Sauron gaining power or learning from his master. There's so much they could do around that and it's also close to the Fellowship of the Ring. And for me, I think that would be the best because you get to explore everything that's familiar and everything in full strength. So by the time you finish the TV show and you go into the Fellowship of the Ring, you kind of know everything that happened in the opening battle. You get to see the characters and the people involved in that battle and you get to see just the whole Lord of the Ring mythology just flourish. Or whatever you guys think the best way that the five seasons could develop, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. And if you want to follow the conversation, hit me up on Instagram. I give out free movies on a weekly basis. And I always post about movies in there too. So please hit me up on that one. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Angel. And hit me up.